Perplexity just dropped a crazy update, okay? And it's called Labs, guys, okay? And this thing does crazy stuff, okay? So what it does, essentially, it can build fully functional, ready-to-go websites, and you even get a preview. It can build a interactive dashboard. It can build games. It can even clone apps, okay? It can clone Instagram. It can clone Twitter, okay? It can clone anything, guys, okay? And something like that would require a developer job even up to recently, guys, unless you are, uh, you know, comfortable with working with something like Cursor or AI code builders, guys, okay? But now you don't need to do any of that. You can just ask with the prompt what you want. You're going to get a live preview and a source code, and you can ship off your MVP literally in a couple of hours, which is crazy, guys, okay? So I'm actually curious to see how that looks and how that works, guys. So let's dive into it and play around with this new future and see the actual results we get, guys, all right? So since we are mainly focusing on e-commerce, I want to get something like um, I want to get a really rich e-commerce platform with the latest trends in e-commerce and maybe some, uh, you know, uh, suggestions for the metrics and stuff like that. Really just for myself to understand the latest trends and insights on e-commerce. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm going to give this pretty extensive prompt. Okay, create a dynamic, visually engaging e-commerce analytics dashboard for a business owner. And then we're giving a sales performance, AOVs, guys, and essentially all you that you would want to see as an e-commerce business owner on your analytics dashboard, okay? So we're essentially trying to recreate sort of a uh, Google Analytics, but more e-commerce, uh, specifically e-commerce-focused analytics dashboard uh, using the builder from Perplexity, guys, okay? And guys, on a note, you need to be a pro user uh, to get the, um, the labs option, guys. If you want, um, I believe there is a referral uh, referral uh, code, guys. So I'm going to be leaving my referral code just in the comment section below, guys. So I believe you can get 50% off the perplexity fro uh, for the first month. So instead of $20, it's going to be $10, guys. So I'm going to leave my referral link uh, just in the description box below the video, guys. All right. So let's go ahead and start... Uh, start doing this guys i'm super curious to see how how it's gonna be as an end result guys okay i, I do i do think it takes a couple of minutes so here it gives an estimate nine minutes so guys i'm gonna put you in a brief hold okay and i'm gonna get back to you as soon as this thing is ready to go all right cool guys actually i just wanted to come back and just just uh show you guys just look at this extensive amount of the research perplexity does okay so that's kind of the cool part about Perplexity uh, comparing with ChatGPT, guys. Okay, ChatGPT does have a uh, deep search option, but that takes pretty long. It takes like 10, 15, 20 minutes, okay? But Perplexity is so much faster with uh, live deep search, and it tells you exactly, uh, shows you visually what which links it's crawling, okay? What is it researching, which is really awesome to see visually. And you can actually go and click on these links, okay? I actually uh, save some of them because there's some cool reading material, guys. And it's really just awesome to see visually how it puts things together, guys, okay? Really awesome. And now it's done. Now it's building the application, okay? So here's build, uh, building our modern e-commerce analytics dashboard, guys. Four minutes left, guys. It's going to build a full-blown e-commerce dashboard in four minutes, guys. That's crazy. Awesome, guys. Here it is, guys. So let's check it out. So um, I just click the link right here to, uh, to view the project. Okay, just like that. And it's uh, fully hosted on Perplexity for a full review, guys. Or if you want, you can get a uh, the entire code. You can download it uh, as zip file, guys. And you're going to have a uh, HTML, CSS, and the JS code, okay? If you want to bring it to a developer or do it yourself later out with something like Cursor or, 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 or Replit, guys, or whatever, the AI builders. Uh, so here we have a pretty neat uh, dashboard, okay, so we have tabs, we have dashboard, sales performance, uh, and everything, customer behavior, guys, so it's pretty, pretty awesome, guys, okay, um, I think it didn't add any dummy data for the revenue trends, okay, but we have some data for the revenues, and uh, guys, this looks like a pretty nice uh, SaaS style dashboard, and guys, it was done like not even five minutes, um, the only thing, I went back to perplexity, and I said, can you add some dummy data? Because I want to see the data as well in here. So I can, um, here guys, so I want to see some data in here so I can kind of get the feel of the completed dashboard. So uh, for example, my developer, I only would need to connect the APIs 
uh, so we can fetch the data from APIs and display it in the dashboard directly, guys. Okay, so this is a really decent front end, guys, uh, for an e-commerce dashboard. Uh, let's just wait for it to add some dummy data so we can see the final product, okay? And just sort of a preview how it works, guys, just look at that. It gives you all the breakdowns. So here we have the uh, HTML, which is essentially a uh, layout. And guys, look at all this code, okay? And it does everything for you, okay? It's pretty pretty well structured guide okay it really follows the best practices when it comes to structuring the html and uh, let's see how the css guys nice it's adding the root color that's actually very uh proper uh software development pra practice that's essentially how we do it on production level okay so it's putting all the uh, root colors in here guys um essentially so you can recycle the colors and everything so it's pretty awesome and then we have the javascript so it's declaring the global variables on the top, which is essentially how it is. Declaring the dummy data, which would be uh, API endpoint in a real production floor. Um, and then we have the logic guys. It's pretty awesome. Just, it's crazy to think about it, that it does all of that and then connects everything and gives a live preview and self hosts everything on its own guys. Oh guys, and it's finally done guys. Just look at the details and the UI design. This is crazy, okay? Uh, it's even adding a, uh, wow, guys, it even added a light mode and a dark mode. That's crazy. That's so awesome. You can export the data. Uh, well, that's a placeholder. It doesn't work, guys. But again, it added that the placeholder, placeholder logic, I guess, so you can export it as, PD, as PDF or Excel sheet. Uh, pretty standard stuff for analytics. But again, guys, just look at all of this beautiful charts and the UI designs uh, we got under 10 minutes, guys, okay? Uh, so we have the date ranges. Can we change that? Okay, those are placeholders, makes sense. I just asked to add the placeholders for the date itself. Uh, here we have traffic insights, guys. Look at these pie charts, absolutely beautiful, guys. Okay, the breakdowns, the analytics here, the uh, geographical traffic, awesome. So it's very similar to Google Analytics, but even more modern and crisp uh, UI version of it, guys. Character abandonment, customer LTV, guys repeat purchase rates guys so essentially anything you want to have is a e-commerce business owner so you have your own e-commerce dashboard guys just connect your apis from shopify whatever guys and you have your own e-commerce dashboard just like that that's pretty awesome marketing roi guys let's check it out so here we have ad spend here you could connect something like facebook apis um here we can do something like clavio apis guys so it's crazy, guys. Honestly, I, I can spend hours explaining what each of these can do and which API we can use, guys. But and again, I just want to showcase you the UI and how it works, guys. So awesome, guys. So this is what it can do uh, for a dashboard in under 10 minutes, guys. Okay, now let's try something more fun. Let's try now to generate a simple video game, guys. All right. So again, I'm going to go to perplexity. I'm going to say something like, uh, let's make sure we check the labs. Otherwise, we're going to be just uh, chatting with the regular perplexity chat. All right, so I'm asking, uh, create a simple Tetris-like, uh, here I'm going to type a Tetris-like game with effects and sound effects, uh, but more modern version of it, okay? Super curious for this one. Let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so it says in nine minutes, we're going to have a, a fully ready to go Tetris game, guys. That's crazy. Super excited to see this one. Guys, it's looking at and, uh, and searching for the research and for the reference. Modern chargers and classic chargers. What is the difference? Let's check out the link. It's actually going through the docs and looking at all the uh, system designs and the uh the differences between the tetris games and it does the research goes to reddit it's insane guys look um now it's searching for uh, html references uh for the game effects sound effects for the games javascript game um npms and code that's guys this is next level i'm super curious to see the final result here cool so after it got all the data so it spent roughly uh four minutes to get the data and now it's going to take five minutes to build the actual game. So here it started building the HTML, guys. Uh, nice. So the HTML is in progress. So yes, uh, let me get back to you guys in five minutes uh, once the game is ready and we can test drive that. Cool, guys. So it's ready. I'm super excited to open this project. So uh, we have all the files. Let's go ahead and check it out. Nice. We, 
we got a we got an intro guys let me just make sure my uh volume is actually uh turned up let me just check that cool my sound is on let's go ahead and give it a test drive let's play that nice ah uh, guys i can move it with my keyboard what hold on how I, I forgot how to play touches i guess okay i have to just move it like this okay i can speed it up nice let's see let put here nice and it has like a nice beeping sound what guys this is crazy I built a whole Tetris game in five minutes without touching a single line of the code, guys. Okay, just think about it. You can ask it to do it in a um, iOS format, which would be something like uh, maybe Flutter or React, um, React Native, guys, for example, okay? And it's going to build the entire thing, guys, and maybe you'll need to hire a developer for a couple hours to finalize and clean it up, and maybe for deployment, guys, okay? Or you can use it alongside with something like a Replit, okay? So you can import the code into Replit and it's going to clean up and finalize and even deploy the entire thing for you guys. And you're going to have your own video game, guys, literally done over a weekend, guys. Okay, monetize it as something like, I don't know, revenue cat for uh, in-application subscriptions uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for your uh, mobile app, guys. Like you can do so much stuff, guys. Something else would have taken like, I don't know, weeks to do and deploy it and monetize it now you can do it over a weekend by yourself guys okay so that's this is pretty awesome guys i love it absolutely cool okay so now i want to take it up a level okay so i have this super massive prompt guys okay so uh with it a uh, e-commerce dashboard with the game guys so now i want to test drive this with a pretty complex prompt which is essentially we are asking um to build a mobile app okay so let's see how it handles that so i have this massive prompt Essentially, build a AI-powered app designed specifically for job shippers. Okay, um, job shipping essentially it's an e-commerce model where you uh, can sell products to customers directly without holding inventory, guys. If uh, if you want to learn more about it, go check out our uh, channel. We have a lot of stuff on job shipping and e-commerce. But again, guys, here I'm asking to build a very complex mobile app with some dummy data, so so we can see it right away and test drive entire features on the app. Okay. Uh, we have a bunch of pretty complex features, okay, product discovery tool, uh, profit calculator, um, AI ad generator, order and fulfillment tracker, okay, so it's pretty complex, guys. I'm curious how well it can handle it and can it build a mobile app for us in 10 minutes, guys? Let's find out. Okay, and it says it's going to take it nine, it's going to take nine minutes to build a fully dynamically operational mobile app okay i'm not talking about that it's actually going to have a live dynamic data no we're not dealing with apis backend servers we're going to have essentially a front-end mvp with a uh, dummy data okay but still nine minutes to build entire thing seven minutes to build entire thing it's pretty crazy all right guys and it's ready just look at this craziness guys it generates me a fully <laughs> ready to go mobile app app guys actually it did a uh desktop version uh let me see if it's actually responsive on the um how it behaves on the mobile i'm just kind of curious guys uh let's see i think i need to open it in the separate in the separate uh window let me just kind of i'm just curious maybe not i don't think i specifically asked to optimize for mobile uh not a big deal but i'm just curious uh let's see if we do it in a mobile Hey guys, it's not optimized for mobile. Anyway, it's not a big deal, guys. Uh, let's take a look at it. Um, so let's see what we have. We have a dashboard. Okay, we have orders, uh, weekly revenue, active products, da, da, da. Okay, and here we have a daily AI assistant in a real life that would be plugged into a chat GPT. Um, and it's actually going to be summarizing your daily, um, daily suggestions, which is pretty awesome. It's a good idea. Okay, uh, so let's see. We have dashboard. We have discovery. Okay, to discover... Uh, products and it's actually pretty smart i've used uh, platforms for product discovery and uh, analytics and it's very similar so here you can choose uh trending products on tiktok aliexpress amazon and guys it did all the research and put all this together on its own it's insane okay and here it's putting some uh, dummy data for the products okay uh led flame speaker a posture corrector guys this is crazy posture corrector is actually a huge product in job shipping it's been trending in the job shipping since like since COVID started, guys, okay, everybody got crazy about the posture. Everybody was having wrong postures. The pressure correctors were making huge killing in terms of the revenue, guys. And it's pretty cool to see that it's actually referencing posture corrector in here, guys. It's really cool. And you can uh, even calculate the uh, profit for this product here. It plugs in 
automatically, dynamically, the data for the product on its own. And it calculates the gross profit, net profit, and profit margin, guys. Okay, this is insane. It gives you a profit margin calculation, guys. It is so cool. Here you can uh, generate essentially um, AI uh, product pictures. I don't think it's plugged in. It, I would be surprised if it would be. I don't think it will be. Uh, well, well, generates a text, okay? It gives you a dummy text. Transform your life with a test or let's say like a posh uh, product ABC. And it's gonna plug in dynamically here, ABC. Super cool, guys. Gives you scripts and headlines, uh, orders, okay, and performance. Okay, TikTok ads, Facebook ads, Google ads, and you have AI insights, guys. Come on, guys, this is this is crazy. It was done in like under 10 minutes, okay? So just imagine if you, if you actually spend some time and build a actual app for JobShippers, for example, just plug and play APIs uh, from, you know, from uh, TikTok, uh, from, from, from Meta for the Facebook ads, uh, Chat GPT for AI summarization. And you have a AI SaaS platform ready probably in a couple of days to launch as an MVP, okay? I'm gonna say if you're not a developer, you will need to uh, find a way to plug in the backend and APIs, guys. You can do it with, uh, with uh, Replit or Bolt uh, or Cursor. If you've done some programming in the past, it's fairly easy, guys. But my point is you have a front-end for a fully functional app. Uh, well, front end is fully functional for a job shipping uh, AI SaaS platform, guys. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, guys. And essentially, that's the power of the of the uh, perplexities new labs future, guys. Again, you need to be on a pro plan to take advantage of it. And if you are on the pro plan, and if you want to use it, just go to the chat and click on this light bulb right here, guys, and you can start using it. I believe you get like fifty. Yeah, 50 uh, requests monthly for the labs, which is plenty, guys. Again, uh, you're not going to be generating, uh, well, you want, if you want, you can generate new app and platform every day. But again, it's really good for uh, doing prototypes and MEPs and really just bringing your ideas to life and seeing them, okay? It's it's uh, it's crazy stuff, guys, okay? So let me know down in the comments, what do you think about this new update for Perplexity? If you use it, what's your, what's your opinion about it, guys? I'm super curious to learn, guys. And if you want me to drop more content like this where I'm discovering new tools and latest futures from, from AI and e-commerce and just in general, guys, from the industry, guys, uh, make sure to like and subscribe so I can keep dropping these value-packed free videos for you guys, okay? And as always, I'm going to see you next time.